Hey Leo Collective, happy Sunday. All right, y'all, so I am going to pop in with your weekly reading um, today because tomorrow I have plans, so I will not be able to upload tomorrow. So let's see what the week looks like, even though this is a better day to do it anyway because the week has yet to officially start as far as the work week. So let's start with some general messages, okay? General messages. Somebody's name could be Dior. Or James. I heard the last name Henry, even though that could be somebody's first name as well. So we have political authority, number 42, and we have love and submission, number 39. Some of you could be 42, 39. All right. So there could be a situation here where you might be finding yourself because this is a feminine energy and this is a masculine energy. So somebody's name could be Michael. I'm seeing Rachel as well. Um, This might be a situation where you could be falling in love with a political authority, somebody who's in a position of power. This could just be somebody who's giving off very much boss energy. Could be an Aries. Could also be a fixed sign. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. What's going on here? This could, I'm also getting like going to like the justice of the peace. Like somebody could be going to the courthouse to get married or considering that. This might be a relationship you're coming into that might, escalate to marriage rather quickly we have affinity and friendship mm -hmm. okay we have uh fines and unfair costs and then we have luxury interesting okay y'all so look i don't know if you have somebody around you or not this could be somebody that you have love for there could be someone around you that my, i just heard the name deborah um and i even heard deborah like with a v um, but yeah, this might be a situation I'm hearing Amber. I, I hate when this happens, but I have to be obedient. Amber. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a situation here where there could be someone around you who might be like a little envious of the fact that you live a luxurious lifestyle. Maybe this is a person who can't keep up with you, but they're trying to, and maybe they have love for you. You have love for them, but there's a little bit of, um, what is the word? Not jealousy, but what's the other word y'all? I don't know why this happens to me when I do my readings. Cause Lord have mercy. <laughs> envy. Envy. Somebody could be envious of you, even though they do have love for you. Okay. Somebody could like Hagen dazs ice cream. <laughs> I don't know where this come this is coming from. I don't know. All right, so we have indiscretion and untruth. Number 12, I'm seeing number 61, 69, and 48. Could be ages, birth dates, whatever, birth years. Number 55 with vice. You know, I was going to say when I thought about the haagen ice cream, somebody could be trying to eat better this week. Maybe going uh, without sweets this week. And maybe that's something that you really like. It could just be ice cream in general or just sweets. And you could be trying to, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, not do it this week. Practice some discipline this week and not give in to your temptations. Indiscre indiscretion and untruth. Some of you have a hang up about people or you have advice about people lying to you. Like it bothers you when people lie to you. Obviously it bothers everybody when people lie to them. But this could be you maybe not speaking to someone right now because they've been deceptive. It could be a Pisces person. Okay, so we have here false promises, number 51. Somebody's name could be Bilal. What's false promises? Desire to know. Okay, wow. So you may have a desire to know why someone was lying to you, being deceptive. Number 62 is here. Okay, let's get two more. All right, so we have intellectual richness, number 59. Some of you are extremely smart. Oh, this could be that person I told you you're attracting. And then we have victory, which is your energy, number 11. And this is justice. If you're in a legal situation, you have victory here. Okay, so I feel like you, you're, out, you're outsmarting somebody. You're beating somebody at their own game. All right, number 59, number 11, I think I already said that. Bottom of the deck, we have immorality, number two, which is the high priestess, Cancer Pisces energy, and rejuvenation. So some of you are overcoming some immorality with someone else. You're recovering. Could be a Libra person, or you could just have Libra in your chart. Um. <clears throat> You can have a Libra Jupiter placement. Yeah. Okay. So this feels like the truth is coming out about somebody who's been deceptive. And it could be something that, yeah, the light of understanding is at the bottom of the day. Number six, I feel like the truth is coming out. It's going to bring some harmony and some balance to your life. You know how sometimes you just want closure to a situation where you just want to know why something happened or why somebody did whatever they did. It feels like the truth is coming out. Now, let's look at who the key players are this week for you. 
because I am curious. Sorry about the background noise, y'all. I don't know why these um, things are so loud outside. Okay, let's move these to the side. And let's see who is showing up in your energy this week. And for what purpose. It may be, um, there's a song on called Love Myself. Somebody's initials could be JW. Um, we have the Ten of Cups. Ooh, this is success. Interestingly enough, it's in reverse. Okay, so that's Shattered Dreams. That's Pisces energy. Who's the Pisces that some of you may be dealing, dealing with? This could be a family member, though. So this is somebody, remember I said somebody could be jealous of your success. This is somebody who is envious and jealous, and it could be a family member. It could be a friend or somebody you have a lot of love for. Somebody who should not be jealous of you. Somebody could be a barber. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups. Yes, this is your upbringing, family, um, people that you've grown up with. Six of Cups is Scorpio energy. All right, what else? For some of you, this could be a person that you were dealing with before, a Scorpio or Pisces in a romantic sense with all these um, cups coming out. And it might be that they're jealous that you're having success in a new relationship or you're about to. Someone can have red hair. All right, so we have the three of wands change. Yes, this is you broadening your horizons, thinking outside the box. This is growth and expansion. You've outgrown someone. Could be an Aries person, doesn't have to be. Could also be an Aries person coming towards you. But this is also growth and expansion in your career. This is building blocks. This is like confidence. Okay, somebody is just looking at your confidence and this is bothering them. And then we have the five of cups, lost. This is somebody who lost you. Scorpio energy again. It feels like a strong water sign person or just somebody in their feelings about you. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some messages from your angels, your guides. What do they want to say? We have heartstrings. And what does this say? Why can't I get the card? It says projecting an image, being in the spotlight, and narcissistic, narcissistic personality. So some of you, this is a narcissist. This could be a water sign or a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person. Could also be a Gemini for some of you. We have money. I'm telling you, there's somebody here. It says money is an issue, financial support, settlement, or alimony. Some of you could be coming into some money. This could be jealousy over money, a monetary gift. I feel like something fell, but I don't see it. Okay, let's keep going. One more. And you have addicted, being obsessed, wanting too much, and unhealthy habits. Okay, somebody can have vices here that you're connected to. And this may be why you've outgrown them. What's at the bottom? We have divine timing. Stay in the flow and trust that the timing is perfect. Trust, believe, and have faith. So you're getting to the mountaintop there. I love that for you. I feel like somebody never expected for you to overcome obstacles, to outgrow them, to prove them wrong. And I told y'all weeks ago, y'all proving a lot of people wrong. You're hurting a lot of feelings, Leo. A lot of feelings. Okay, so let's get into... What are we going to get into next? This deck here. Three cards. Oh, we have the universe. This is you closing out a cycle. This is the world. Okay. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So a cycle is complete. Like I said, you've outgrown someone. This is a sense of accomplishment. Getting to the mountaintop. Wish fulfillment. I love it. What is it? We have the five of pentacles. This is financial and material changes, and it usually represents unwanted changes. So this is you closing out a cycle that has to do with money. This could be the loss of money, the lack of money, temporary setbacks, delays when it comes to your finances. This is something gaining momentum with this wheel here, the three of wands. So yeah, somebody could be in the market for a new car. I looked up and I see a car on the TV. Okay, you may feel like it's been you against the world, but that, that cycle is closing out. I am noticing that there's like these these fingers here. You see the separation here. Some of you could have separated from a, um, a marital, you know, your spouse or whatever. Or for some of you, you're getting a ring. But this is the five of pentacles. This could be a five-year relationship that's ended, five-year age difference. Or this could even be a job for some of you. Because the pentacles are connected to our material earthly matters. Okay. This could also be somebody's health improving. You or someone around you. One more. Okay. We have the shadow, which is the moon. Cancer Pisces energy, and this is deception and secrets. Yeah, so it could be that you want to know the uh, um, the answer to something and you're getting that closure. Like I said, this is closure, completion of a cycle. Wisdom. Yep. You've learned a spiritual lesson here, Taurus energy, and then you have hope, which is the start in your healing and being transformed by an ending, maybe with the Scorpio and Aquarius or Taurus. You could be saying a lot of fives. There's like a conflict ending in your life. I'm running out of space, y'all. <laughs> 
let's see i know what i'll do i'll just move these cards up here all right let's get into it i am going to pull some random cards for you see what spirit wants you to know this week so they could be a pisces a scorpio or an aries in your energy this week for some reason we have coming to your senses okay creating better boundaries being guarded assertive logical and head over heart that's Libra energy. You can have a Libra Venus placement, the Queen of Swords. We have ahead of the curve, the King of Wands. This is you. So you are a natural born leader. You're taking action, leading by example. You are a visionary who is before your time. You're future focused. You're impulsive, confident, and influential. I love it. So it kind of feels like, like I said before, your confidence is coming back. Somebody thought they had shaken you. You've been doing your shadow work. All right, so we have the road to recovery, the Four of Swords. Yeah, we already had the Four of Swords come out. All right, so the Four of Swords is Libra energy. That's that Libra, Libra Jupiter I was talking about. So this says that you're on the mend and hospitalization and rest. Like I said, somebody could be healing right now. Doesn't have to be you. Could be someone around you. Uh, recuperation, getting back on your feet, overcoming healing and recharging your battery. We have a fall from grace, the six of wands in reverse. Leo, for some of you, you are recovering from maybe an ego death or you're recovering from dealing with someone who was stuck in their ego. Somebody who has lost favor with you. Somebody you have negative feelings about now. This is like the pride before the fall. This is somebody not getting attention from you anymore. They could be very insecure. They could have a lot of pride. They could also have people um, watching you. This is like gang stalking, mob mentality. It's delay, it's punishment and failure. And for some of you, it's just you. There's a song on called New Leaf. You're turning over a new leaf. And it's, it's turning the something. I don't know if it's the corner or turning the page. I don't know what it is. But I think this guy's name is Mike. Now we have Will and Thomas on the TV. Yeah, so I remember I said possibly a Michael was involved. This could be Archangel Michael. I don't know. We have Trauma Dump in P-O-R-N. Addicted to drama, gets high off of toxicity, loves to dump their mess at your front door, lives a life of dysfunction, and always calls with their bad news. Could be this person here. Could be a Capricorn. And this person, it says wrongdoing, error, mistake, poor choice, misbehave, criminal behavior, fault, and misconduct. Yeah, so there's somebody around you that feels pretty toxic that you have released. You have a tangible gift coming in. And it could be money manifesting right here. This could be a new job, new car, new home, y'all, or somebody's health improving. It says you're manifesting abundance. This is a stable offer coming towards you. It's building on a solid ground. Somebody could be being very generous towards you. Um, this talks about being a privileged couple. Also, new job, new car, new home. Doors are opening for you, for you and a gift from God. I love it. So let's get some tarot and see what is going on here. What is coming to your senses all about the strength card? I'm going to take it. This is you, Leo. All right, this says divine strength expresses through me as poise and confidence, finesse and fortitude. I love it. So the strength card was initially called fortitude. So this is like intestinal fortitude. Like I said, you took your power back in the situation. You're standing in your power, but you're doing it in a very, you're killing people with kindness. That's what the strength card is all about. It's when you have survived a lot. You're very confident. And then we have here the three of wands coming out again. You're manifesting something. This is when your manifestations are coming in. Anticipation and preparation. This is foresight. Some of you are future thinking people. You can read people very well. You have a spirit of discernment. Mm hmm. With this Queen of Swords here, it says, uh, with an open mind and heart, I welcome new opportunities. I love it. This is showing up as three days from now. So today is Sunday. So this looks like Wednesday. There could be some really good news coming in, something you've been waiting for, something you've been anticipating. What's the road to recovery and a fall from grace? For some of you, you're just getting your reputation back on track because the Six of Wands is reputation. And there could be people on a smear campaign. There could be people who have been trying to... Um, Drag your name through the mud, okay? So we have the moon showing up again, which is lies. It's deception. It says illusion and concealment. The light of my being dispels all shadows. You've been doing shadow work. So I feel like some of you are, people are starting to see that other people have been lying on you. There's been some deception going on regarding a smear campaign. There could be like a humiliation ritual that you have survived. It could be within your family. So we have here, what is this? This is um the high priestess. It says, my intuition guides me in the right direction. You're climbing a corporate ladder of success, I'm telling you. So you have intuition and wisdom and understanding here. This is your higher self, infinite intelligence. So trust your intuition right now. I feel like pay attention to your dreams as well. Both of these are giving me dreams. 
There could be some kind of message you're getting in your dream. So pay attention to that. I feel like some of you are getting back to your old self. Somebody could be from Miami. Someone's name could be Zoe. Okay, so we have trauma dump and P-O-R-N. It says, I am open to unexpected joy and beauty. This is the page of pentacles. Okay, so this is fru um, frugality and practicality. The page of pentacles is all about new opportunities, some kind of tangible gift, and it's also good luck and good health. I love it. I feel like you know what it is. It's your loyalty. This is a card of loyalty and responsibility. I feel like for some of you, you might be the kind of person who's been responsible since you were a very young child. Um, it could be that you grew up in a family where you felt ostracized and maybe you felt like you could only depend on yourself. I feel like people are starting to realize they've done you wrong. Um, there are people who are about to start falling flat on their faces, Leo, who have wronged you. And it feels like family members, unfortunately. Um, for some of you, this could be your child, though, who could have gotten into some trouble here okay so we have the four of cups stagnation reflection a time of stillness recharges me mm -hmm. so i do feel like you are filling your own cup right now you could be rejecting a lot of mess from other people you could be blocking people you could be ignoring phone calls ignoring uh messages on social media just kind of staying to yourself right now because you're trying to recover i feel like a new job opportunity is coming in for somebody here and it's something stable I feel like you have already learned your lesson. You could be a person that people like to call in their time of need, but it's like, who do you go to? You might have strong friend syndrome. So we have the world coming out again. Yes, you're definitely closing out a cycle. It says completion, integration. Um, the number 21 is here. So I'm seeing the number four, the number 12, the number 18, three, seven. And then we have here, I live in harmony with a diverse world. Some of you could be thinking about a big move here with the world. And then the Eight of Swords, disempowerment and isolation. What did I say? I feel like some of you have felt like your um, family members have kind of turned their back on you or people who should have had your back. And this is also a card of um, imprisonment. So somebody could be getting out of jail. It could be your child. Hopefully nobody's going into jail because I feel like something criminal has happened here. But hopefully it's somebody learning their lesson and coming out of prison. If it's someone you love and care about. Okay. Okay, that is where we are going to end this reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you all on Tuesday. So leave me a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We have a big body Hummer. Somebody could drive a Hummer. Um, I will see you all. That's the song that's playing. <laughs> um, I will see you all the next time. I just saw, like, I looked up and they have a billboard. Somebody's name is going to be in lights here. I feel like there's some jealousy because you're about to shine brighter than you ever have. This is what I feel like is happening. You're getting to this mountaintop and there's a lot of people, you know how they say, be careful who you um, step on on your way up because you'll meet the same people on your way down. It kind of feels like the opposite with you. It feels like the people who stepped on you when they were on their way up now have to see you climb to the top. Somebody could be from Seattle. Somebody could be into music. You or someone around you. All right, y'all. I will see you all the next time. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace.